Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Also, if you're dealing with a, a Gemini and you're watching, then Cross Watcher, the message might actually be for you. Okay, one second. Okay. One more. All right, let's jump in. Messages for Gemini. Okay. Twins. That's the first thing I thought. Oh, we are reading Gemini. Hello. They flipped out. It wasn't even like stuck on your thinking your energy. Um, we got the tower jumping out. We're going to put that in the center. But as soon as these flipped out and they flipped face down, I just heard twins. So I don't know if we're talking about twin flame or. Okay. Page of Swords. Ooh, that's got a nasty energy to it. The Empress. That's being ignored. Let's see. All right. Let's pull some clarifiers. Another page. There's the set of twins, right? Okay. Page of Swords. Or, I'm sorry, Page of Pentacles to clarify the Page of Swords. And Three of Pentacles. Okay, let's clarify over here. The Empress. Okay, that came right out. There's the Four of Wands. Yep. 11, 11 energy. I need more manifestation with that. Give me one more clarifier. Oh, okay, there. Yeah, twin flame energy for sure. For sure. That is divine. Oh my God, with the lovers too. That's a homecoming. Wow. That's why. Okay. Seven of wands. Okay. Let me. Oh, we can't even see the cards. Okay. I just moved the camera from filming on the last one and let's see. There we go. Okay. So, wow. Yeah. The only card I saw was the tower and I'm like, twins, what are we doing? Twins, twin flame reading for sure. Okay. Let's get uh, a couple cards on top so we can see the overall energy and then we'll dive right in. What it flipped, what flipped. Yeah. There's the chariot. Oh, three of swords. Okay. Let me get one more. Confirm it. Okay. Very interesting. I'm going to flip these. Put the two majors on either side. We need one in the middle here. And then we'll jump in. Let's get one more. I'm going to do two on each side. Well, one more flips. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. There's the sun. Okay. Let me say it this way. Simply put, I could tell you this whole reading without even going on a 10 minute video, but we will. Three minutes and three seconds. Wow. I looked down at the clock. That's awesome. Um, are you on a twin flame journey? Yes. Have you met your twin flame? No. The first thing you think that is your twin flame is not. This is a false. This is a karmic. However, your twin is on the way. Done. End of reading. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> that is the whole reading, but we're going to dive into it. Simply put, that's exactly what I feel. Okay. Um, let's talk about this. Okay. So, there's a, uh, <laughs> there's a forced energy with some manifestation that I feel um it feels on the masculine side um i can't tell if this is your karmic counterpart or if this is the twin flame because i feel a lot of waiting energy around the twin flame um but there's a lot of creation energy it feels that the karmic yeah so that that manifest okay perfect so the manifestation energy wrapped around the karmic is Man, not manifesting from the true heart center and it's coming in from a lower vibrational place and it's kind of messing with your orc field okay um however this unknown to be next to be soon lover is closing out something of their own it's not regarding another person it's this, it's funny because, oh, karma doesn't have to be bad, but it's this karmic deed of what they feel is punishment, but I feel them helping. Maybe they think they have to do all this, this kind charity work to pay off some kind of karmic debt. I'm not sure if this is, it, it's like who they used to be. So I don't know if they went through a transformation and, and maybe they woke up spiritually and now they're like, okay, well, 
I'm not that person anymore, but I'm trying to pay off this karma or they're trying to do it for my past life. I'm not too worried about that. However, we don't need to dive into that because well, you'll meet that person when the time is right. But they're on this like, I have to make up for all this energy. Like that's the path they're on right now. And they're close to getting off of it. They're going to go through a little bit of a challenge. It's a little bit of a tougher lesson, but it's one of the things they have to get through. Yeah, with the tower there to get to you. Okay. Um, they have so much beauty and creation within, within them. And if they could just get over this one little thing, they'd be in a great divine alignment energy because, hold on water. Because there's so much beauty around you. It's interesting the four of wands and the two of cups came out together, right? Um, I mean, 11, 11. The West, this is another part of their awakening process. Ooh, you're going through an awakening journey. I think you think that the person you're with now is the one that woke you up. And they did. They're your catalyst. Um, but that's simply all it is. And I think the sooner you figure that out, the sooner you'll be able to move on and move to this next partner. There's going to be a period of um, solitude, singleness, aloneness, a period. You have to go through to get to this person. <clears throat> so there might be some heartache and heartbreak and it might be harder to walk away and i think that you're so convinced they might even be your twin because they're the one who woke you up right that you're like no 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 but something's gonna happen to get you out of this relationship one way or the other it's happening <clears throat> and you'll have to go through the, some heartbreak alone to get to the one you love right but they're also on this other journey when you guys get together, you're going to be able to co-create anything you want. It's going to be like magic. It's going to be like fireworks, but the time is not quite yet. It's interesting because you definitely uh, mirror yourself with the person you're with now, but it's it's for all the wrong reasons. And when you start to mirror yourself with this next new lover, it's going to be all in beauty and divine. This is like 5D love. Okay, I'm not denying the spiritual connection you have with this person because it's real. There might be some telepathy. There's things that like are unexplainable. Like I've never had a love like this. This is unbelievable, right? Uh, at very most, you're tapping into a 4D love. When you meet this next person, it's going to be a 5D love. I'm going to tell you they're on their way. But I'm going to say, like I said, they're doing all this like... I'm giving everything away, all this charity work. I have to make up for past amends. They're working out some karmic issues right now. You, you're in this relationship and it's going to end sooner probably rather uh, this year because I heard December. It would definitely probably, the one you're in now, end by December, but that's okay. Because next year, around April... The true healing begins and you're going to get back into an alignment state where this person might come in around then. It might be May though, is what I want to say. So, wh wherever you're at with that, by December, I would say you are single and alone. And you're in the three of, heart, heart, three of heartbreak, three of swords energy. But again, it's not for long. And you're going to be on the healing journey. And you're going to do it alone and you're going to be stronger because of it, right? But it's getting you back to source, getting you back to your twin. Get Yes, you are on the twin flame journey. This is an important part of it, right? So when the relationship ends, it's kind of going to pull the rug out from underneath you, just to be honest. But that's okay because this is part of the process, right? So next year, things will be more fluid. Um... You might want to pay attention to animals, particularly birds. They might come in with some messages. Um, it's almost like when you see, I'm just using this as the example. This isn't going to relate to all of you, but let's just say you relate with like red robins. It's almost like when you see the red robin, you know your twin's going to come. So whatever animal or whatever sign or whatever synchronicity you, you, you relate with twins or lovers, or maybe you have to pray on it or meditate on it or ask the divine to say, hey, show me a sign. It's like when you see that sign, your twin is going to come. There will be a shift in your vibration by the end of the year, but the, the big changes won't happen until the spring of next year. And things will start blossoming rather really fast by May. Again, this is where the energy stands today. Now, you get out of the relationship sooner. They start, they start doing 
this real work and get out of the karmic situation it could happen sooner but i'm i'm feeling next year because you're kind of caught in this karmic tie with this person at the moment the relationship might actually end sooner but it you might be stuck in the heartbreak till the rest of the year because i just see pain until the rest of the year at least the heartbreak but there's healing all next year and you have no idea what love's like. This You went from 3D love to 4D love. You're about to go on a 5D love next year. This is insane. That you have... Oh my God. I can't even... Ew. You have no idea what's coming for you. In the greatest way. It is going to be like magic. Like fireworks. Right? This is divinity. At its true source. So... Yeah, you are on the twin flame journey. It's just not who you think. But the twin is coming in for you. Okay? I want to leave it with this. Um... Because you're going to be in this energy for a little bit, the Three of Swords. Remember not to point the finger. They did this. He's a narcissist or whatever's going on. I'm not necessarily saying I'm feeling the narcissist empath relationship. However, if whatever is going on that breaks your heart when you get out of the relationship, remember, this is your catalyst. This is the one that woke you up. You have so much reason to be gratitude and grateful and appreciate and show much love for this person. You don't have to actually physically entangle with them anymore. That soul contract will be dissolved. But there's no reason to say that waste of time that they did you wrong or anything because one, this was a soul contract and you signed up for it. And two, they woke you up. This is like, thank you. They were meant to be in your life for a period of time. You had to go through them to get to where you're going. Oh, I'm covered in chills, right? Oh my God, your twin is coming in, okay? Literally, I had to join. Can't stop chilling. So I looked down the clock, 1144. It's a new twin flame awakening codes, right? Okay, perfect place to end your reading there. Gemini, yes. Okay, all right. And Gemini, the twins. That's so beautiful, right? Gemini, we will wrap up your reading right there. If you got anything on this reading, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. This way I know you got something that resonated. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, Make sure you hit that subscribe button and there's a little bell right next to it. You want to hit the bell and turn on all notifications because I do daily videos and I don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages. That next message just might be the message that you need to hear today. All right, my twins, be blessed.